Okay, guys, so, uh, how's it going today? So, uh, yeah, it's nice and sunny out. But I got something to show you here, so give me one second. Okay, well, before I actually show you what I need to show you, I'm going to tell you what's going on here quick. Nice and sunny out. Freaking getting some green grass and shit. Uh, anyways, I think our, uh, you guys remember the story I told you about the guys on the Red Ranger <clears throat> that were uh, trespassing. It uh, kind of makes me wonder if they're not uh, uh, littering in my yard. And what I mean by that is uh, throwing cigarette butts in my yard. Because they're all kind of in the same same place. Now, I, I did move some around, but... But, uh... The guy that rides... Um, with the guy that owns the, the rider ranger, his buddy... Is the one that's always smoking. Because, you know, when they drive by, I see that. And they... Um, I can see the one guy always having his freaking hand out, you know, with a cigarette in his fucking hand. And, uh... Just, just uh, flicks them into my yard and doesn't give a fuck. And, you know, and if we were still in a fucking drought situ situation, uh, that could have burned my grass and burned my house down. So, uh, yeah, I'll take, I'll take you over there, show you what's going on, but it's going to be kind of a long walk, but this guy needs to get the hell out of this town. So sick of it. <clears throat> Getting pretty damn old, so... I just got done walking, walking the yard, picking up tree branches and stuff. I got a good handful over there to throw away, but I ain't going to right now. So, sorry for the wind, but uh, yeah, I don't like this. I don't. I don't appreciate. Now I know what you guys are gonna say too. That this guy's probably going to start in again, because um, I bet you if I. Uh, find out who's doing it, which I'm probably pretty sure it's that guy in the ranger. I bet you anything too is that he'll, uh, he'll, uh, just, you know, they probably think this is, this is private or public property. Well, it sure in the hell ain't. So the guy's probably going to argue with me too. If I call the cops on it and say, you know, hey, you're fucking littering my yard. And I say, well, I don't think you own that yard, you know. I own the sidewalk, motherfucker. I own everything. I'll see if I can find any some cigarette butts. I know there's quite a few of them around here. There's one right there, but I don't want to show you that one yet. And I'm going to pick these up too, and I'm going to keep them for evidence. And I don't know if there was any around here. I don't think so. They're mostly down over here. Uh, there was one guy right here. Right there, there's one right there. Cigarette butt. <laughs> there goes the guy in the Black Ranger. And then there should be... There should be... Yeah, you better fucking get your ass going. Yeah, and there's another one right here. Right there. That's a cigarette butt. And they're not even smoked all the way either. It's kind of stupid. This guy probably can't handle it. I can smoke cigarettes right down to the fucking butt. Yeah, and then there's two more right here. I put those two together with one that was further in the yard. So, there's two. Oh, did I show you this one? Yeah, I see. Two, three. Uh, and if, like I said, the fourth one should be down here somewhere. Oh, right here. Actually, there's one right here, too. Right there. So that's actually, I think, four or five. At least four, anyway. One, two. There's one right there, too. So, one, two. Two. Three, four, yeah. So, five, actually. Well, there's four or five of these sons of bitches, anyway. And I know that they're coming. And see how this goes? They're right here, right? They're all in this little section. Well, look. I really can't see anything. I can't see anything from my windows. So that's why they're fucking doing it right here. And see, they probably think this is public property. Nope. 
private. It's all private property from where this pole is. See that pole right there? That's where my property ends and it comes all the way up to the white line. I, own all, I, I even own this. It's not public property. It used to be public property, but then when the lady bought this property to put her house on there, she got all this as well. And I know this is my property because I actually talked to the ex-mayor, which is now living over there. I had asked him if I could rip this out. First he said no, but then later on he said, yeah, it was it was private property, you know, mine. So, so I can do whatever the hell I want with this fucking sidewalk, you know. I've been meaning to rip it out, but geez, you know, to get a bobcat down here is going to cost quite a bit of money. See, I usually walk my yard every all the time to uh you know because the concrete likes to pop up i actually got a piece of concrete popping up right now i might have to break it out and then just backfill it with some dirt i don't know i'll see, I'll see how it goes on the first mole but i might be mowing pretty soon i don't know somewhere around here there's a piece of concrete that was popping up might have been further down i don't know Somewhere around here anyway, it was popping up, but, uh... Mm, where the hell did it go? Mm, it hadn't been, nah, I think it was right... Nah, it couldn't have been there. Now it's somewhere around here anyway where it's popping up, but... I check it, I walk it every... All the time to pick up pieces of concrete and trash. And you know, some kids like to fucking throw crap in people's yards and don't give a shit. Well, I think... I see the guy in the red, red ranger he still comes down this road and now he's going up over that way and freaking going into the uh going around to the pond because he can't go into the other way so but uh yeah see you know that's the one i already showed you i'm gonna pick these up and i'm, I'm gonna keep them for evidence because if this fucker keeps doing it and one time one of these times i probably will catch him fucking doing it and I will report his ass again. Oh, wait, here's actually... Oh, well, here's two more. Well, that's beyond my property line, though, so... There's two more. But like I said, that's... Well, I'm the bitter fucking end of my property, but it's not on my property, I don't think. No, it doesn't look like it. But, uh... Yeah. That's my property. Right where that pole is. Comes all the way over here. All the way up to the white line. And all the way around again. So. Not going to get away with throwing trash in my fucking yard. But uh, it's in my yard. That cigarette butt. There's many more in the fucking yard. And I'm sure I'll probably find more along the way. Like I said, I'm going to pick these fuckers up. And I'm going to keep walking my yard every day. And if I keep finding butts all the fucking time, then I know it's him fucking doing it. So, fuck that shit. I don't think it's the guy in the Red Ranger, but it's his fucking buddy that's fucking doing it. Well, they're both going to get in trouble. Because you're not going to uh, litter up my fucking property thinking you can get away with it. Because you're uh, dead wrong, motherfucker. So. Yeah, surprisingly, I don't see any more, though, besides those two that right at the bitter end, which I'm sure there's probably all, they're all over the fucking place. But, uh. Fucking guys are freaking ridiculous. Having to deal with all time. I wish these fuckers would just, uh, just get the hell out of here, you know? Such a nuisance. Such a damn nuisance. See, there he is. Just pulled into his yard. So if, if I'm going to pick those up and then if he keeps fucking doing it, if I keep seeing them there, I know that's him doing it because I don't see anyone else fucking smoking cigarettes. I mean, yeah, there's other people that do. But, uh, I haven't seen anyone else smoking cigarettes and driving by with their fucking arm hanging out the window. See, I know that guy in the, that's riding with on the Red Rangers fucking doing it. Because he's always got his fucking hands sticking out. You know? fucking shit show 
I'm getting sick of it. I really am. So I figured to show you guys that. All the cigarette butts in my fucking yard. I'm sure I'll find more of them too. Throughout the summer. And I'm pretty damn sure it's him doing it. Because there ain't no one else doing it. I don't see anyone else with their damn hand hanging out. Out the fucking window. So. It's just the way it's going to have to fucking be. Yep. There's these stupid damn things weren't here. But now they gotta be here. Look. That rock's been sitting up there for three years. I've just been too damn lazy to throw it away. I just want I wanna see how long how long it'll stay there. It's been there for three years. <laughs> I'm gonna see how long it'll last. Even, even even with the high winds, it still fucking sits there. So yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna probably take off. I figure I'll let you guys know. That little bit of bullshit and uh like i said i'll pick those up and keep them for evidence and if i keep finding more i'll uh show them to the fucking cops i bet you too if you if you uh took his fucking spit off them fucking butts too you'd probably find out who, who the hell it belongs to so maybe i'll be careful maybe i'll pick them up with a pair of pliers or something that way i don't get my fingerprints on it but, uh, if I keep finding more of them, I gotta fix my wire too. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, well. But if I keep finding more of them, I will, uh, turn them over to the, to, to the cops. And, uh, I locked up my shop too. I forgot to lock it up earlier, so I'm done in there for today. But, yeah, if I keep finding more of them, I'm gonna pick this, this set up here and... And if they uh, keep fucking doing it, I'm gonna. I'm just when I get enough of them, turn them over to the police. They can uh, do what they gotta do, do to uh, get the DNA off them or whatever they can do. I don't know. It, it did rain on them, so I don't know what there would would be for DNA now. But they can do whatever they gotta do to them. And and uh, yeah, sure, we give them over to the cops because. Uh, I think if uh, this guy gets enough uh, enough complaints put against him, I don't know how many exactly you need, but I know that mine, you know, when I made that complaint uh, about him trespassing, that's another one added to his list. So if I add this one to his list too, he's gonna eventually he's gonna get kicked out of this town. I think there has to be a like there has to be a limit. Like I don't know what the limit is. I'm saying like maybe if you get ten complaints against you, then you're then you're forced to leave. They kick you out. I'm not too sure how many exactly you need, but I'm just saying as an example, maybe ten. I don't know. But if he gets to that limit, whatever the limit is, then they're gonna, I guess, tell him to get the hell out. And we actually kind of looked up his record too. I guess there's some place you can look up to look at his uh, like his records of where he's been and stuff. And uh, he's been moving around quite a bit. He actually used to live at where his job's at right now. So I'm thinking that he got kicked out of that town. Because see there's probably enough complaints against him. So then he moved, moved here. And now he's causing a fucking ass ache for me. He's, he's caused a, you know, an ass ache for everyone else too. I mean when he used to come up and down the road all the time. He used to let his dog wander on the side of the road. You know and other people got their dogs and cats and stuff out. And they're wandering around. They all get into a fucking fight. So then he was uh, told to keep the dog tied up or kept in the back of the ranger or whatever, you know. And He's been doing okay with that in town, but once he gets on top of that dike, he lets the fucking dog go. You know, which I guess is more okay because there's really no dogs at this end of town. The guy with the black ranger used to have dogs. I don't think he does anymore, but I know he used to have them. But his dogs used to cause a fucking ass ache for us, too. Because his dogs used to always wander free. And then they would wander over to the farm. And then start killing all our damn animals. So then... You know, so... The guy in the, in the Black Ranger's got some complaints against him, too. But he's been decently good. And we got some seagulls there or whatever. Uh, you guys probably can't see them, but I can see them. 
And I lost the nail. Yeah, anyways, guys, I'll probably take off. Um, just want to let you guys know about that bullshit. I will pick them fucking things up. And I guess if, oh, hello. I guess if I get, if I see more of those fucking things in my yard, I'm going to pick them up. And if I get enough of them, I'm going to show them to the cops. Because there's not, I mean, yeah, there's lots of people that come into town and they smoke cigarettes. But, you know, it's usually only one or two guys, or it's at least one guy or girl or whatever, you know. And they don't have their fucking hand hanging out the window. You know, and it, and if you're driving, you're not going to roll down your passenger window and flick out your fucking cigarette, you know. So, I know it's been the guy on the, on the Red Ranger, his buddy. Not the guy that owns the Red Ranger, but his buddy. So... Which was a guy that was talking to him when he when he was arguing with me down at the down at the river bush there. He was saying you know that crap about the if I called up the game warden. Well, that's his fucking buddy, and that's the guy that's I think driving around that's riding in the ranger, uh, smoking all those damn cigarettes. And he's the one that's always got his fucking hand out the damn window too. You know, because I, I'm I, you know I, I'm just waiting for them to make another, another fucking mistake. And I do, ha and I do have the right to watch my own land. And if I think you're doing something wrong with it, I do have the right to uh, keep an eye out. You know, I mean, he's fucking damn lucky that it had rained and you know, stuff. You know, I mean, he could have been doing it when, it when when there was a drought too. But you know, he's fucking damn lucky. It al it almost makes me want to put a damn camera up, but Jesus Christ, they're expensive as fuck. So get it on video. But that's another project I gotta do too. Start putting putting security cameras up at this place. It just seems like I have to. There's just you know, with him driving around and other strange people that walk around in town at night, you know. When that lady walked down this this trail here, or this alleyway, made me a little bit nervous because no one ever walks down this fucking alley. And then you, and then you have to cut through my yard. Well, you know. She didn't do any damage to it, so I'm not going to really complain about it. But you were trespassing also, but she might have been drunk or high or stoned or whatever the hell it is, you know. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. But, uh, it's about time I start putting cameras up. I think even some maybe for the shop, too. I don't know. I could probably, I don't know. See what the ranges are on some of those cameras, I guess, and... Start getting a security system put up too. But uh, for putting cigarette butts in my yard, hell no, you're not going to get away with that. And I don't give a fuck if the bastard thing, because I, you know, like I said, uh, he's probably going to like if we go to court over it or whatever. If I would throw in my face, well, that's public property. You know, like he like he threw in my face about the trail, you know, down at the river bush. You know, no, the trail is not public property. It is private property. That sidewalk is private property. It used to be public. But there was no house here at the time. She moved in. She put her house here. The public sidewalk went private. So, and plus, the buildings were, the buildings were, you know, no one uses the fucking sidewalks anymore. Especially in this little town. And there used to be homes right along in, in that big field there. Well, they're gone, you know, so... No one has to use the sidewalk anymore. Everyone just walks on the fucking road. You know? So. So. If I ever feel like it one of these years, I'll probably rip that sidewalk out. But. It just won't be anytime soon. So. I probably could just put tons of dirt over it and cover it up. And probably would never even see it again. But. Ground's always fucking shifting because of the concrete. So. Because the frost will, will punch through it. And someone just followed me on Instagram. Yay, I got a little message on my phone. I'm making a video. Interrupt my video, you cocksucker. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. Uh, if he keeps fucking doing it, um, I'm going to I'm gonna get enough of those butts saved up, and I'm going to give them to the cops, and then the cops can do a, D, like a DNA test on them or whatever, and see uh, um, who's, the, who's they belong to. So... You know, for a while he stopped. He stopped driving down this road. I figured, well, he was probably pretty pissed off and didn't want to go anywhere near my, even in front of my house. Well, he stopped for about a week. Now he's back up, starting up again. So, but whatever. 
So we're getting some leaves on the trees, so that's nice. But if he keeps doing it, it there's going to be a problem. You know, if, if, if we could just get him the hell out of this fucking town, it would be so much better. You know? I'm kind of somewhat stressed out about this guy because he's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. And, you know, he's got quite the fucking uh, temper on him. And he's got the, the rotten... It's got the... It's got one hell of a record, too. This guy seems like he'd be the kind of guy that would fucking kill anyone, you know? So... Get him the hell out of this fucking town, you know? Yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care easy.